They also wanted to keep it secret so they had the element of surprise. Knowing that now, uh, I assume you didn't know that when you argued the case, but knowing that now, is it incriminating for Donald Trump that he planned to move these people from the ellipse of the Capitol and to do so in a way that would be a surprise to his own government, to his own federal government, to the security services? Why keep that secret? Isn't that damning? For the record, Republicans did have a chance to be part of this process. In fact, Leader McCarthy directed John Katko, the ranking Republican on the House Homeland Security Committee, to come up with a deal. In coming up with the agreement, CATCO got Democrats to agree that any subpoenas would have to be jointly agreed upon. The committee would have had an expiration date, and the commission would not have any current politicians serving on the body. That sounds like a pretty good deal for the Republicans, right? Alas, it would not come to pass, because McCarthy and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell killed it. Why? Wait for it. Because they were scared that it would make Trump angry, and you wouldn't like him when he's angry. That brilliant game of strategy gave Republicans a select committee controlled by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Yep, McCarthy handed control of the committee to Speaker Pelosi because she had the ultimate authority on who would participate. Of the 13 members, five were to be chosen in consultation with McCarthy. And when, the named, when he named two members who had participated in the attempt to decertify Biden's win, Jim Banks and Jim Jordan, she said no dice. McCarthy, being a very brilliant political strategist, pulled all of his chosen Republicans, just pulled them all off the panel, leading us to where we are today with a truly bipartisan committee. For God's sakes, there's a Cheney on it, plus Adam Kinzinger. And we, the American people, are getting a clear, coherent story, free of screaming nonsense of how Trump, his allies, and congressional Republicans work together to upend our democracy. Thank you, Kevin. I don't necessarily accept the factual premise, but even if it were accurate and that phone call happened and that was the plan, no, I think it's consistent with his call for peaceable demonstrations. Be again, why keep it a secret? He believed the election was I mean, you stolen know, from him. But you know it was a secret because they didn't yeah. announce it. The evidence shows in text and writing Trump aides. I mean, you can conflict what you want, but they were writing about how the president wants to do this but wants to keep it a surprise. So why keep it a secret? I don't know the answer to that. I don't consider it to be damning that it was kept a surprise, if it were kept a surprise. Okay. Um, let me play you, Cassie Hutchinson. This made a lot of waves, and it seemed to suggest that, again, Donald Trump was physically clashing with his own aides trying to get to the Capitol. He wanted to get to the Capitol. There's texts that also support the, uh, the general thrust of this. Take a listen to Cassie Hutchinson's testimony. The president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president. Take me up to the Capitol now. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel.